Uh, hello guys, if you, like me, are the happy owner of one of these Xeon processors with an unlocked multiplier in combination with an X99F8 motherboard or another board on the X99 platform and you decided to try to overclock your memory or your processor since it has an unlocked multiplier and allows overclocking by the multiplier. You may have encountered such a problem that when we try to enable the CPU overclocking feature through the BIOS, after that, after saving the settings, the computer no longer turns on. And I will tell you why this happens and how to solve this problem and activate the possibility of overclocking the processor and the memory. This is because none of the stock BIOS versions, no matter where you buy the motherboard or what version of the motherboard is, none of the stock BIOS versions support the CPU or clocking feature. Even if you download the lastest BIOS version from the official Huanan webpage, nothing will work. So we need to flash a custom BIOS that supports these features or clocking features. And here we will turn to the GitHub user under the nickname Koshak for help. This kind person makes a lot of custom BIOS for the X99 platform with very wide capabilities. I have already downloaded the correct BIOS and the program for flashing it. Under this video I will leave a link to my Google Drive where you can download the BIOS and the program for free. And now we can start to flash in our BIOS. First we need to run this program as administrator. Then here explore, find our X99F8 motherboard and select it. Then we need to open this flash tool by clicking this. Then we need to read all instructions all warnings, our steps of our instruction, we need to understand all of the warnings, then we need to select our BIOS file, ok, it's selected, you can see it here, this file selected and placed here, then we need to push this button, flash BIOS, and here we need to run we need to run this file flash as administrator okay yes then we need to follow instructions and it will start to reading first and then it starts to flashing it takes some time After reading, starts erasing and then starts to write new ROM file for our BIOS. Here you can see it takes up to 5 minutes maybe. Here you can see that in my case it was unsuccessful because this version of BIOS is already flashed. But in your case it will flash successfully new version of BIOS. Ok, now we can restart our PC and enter the BIOS. And let's try to enable overclocking feature again. Enable and let's try to overclock our CPU. Let's change multiplier to 42, some another changes, voltage, you can also overclock memory controller or we can change memory timings. Here you can see for example manual and here you can set our timings. Just for example.
And now let's try to save our settings. And try if this works now. Some delay on reboot. But now you can hear a beep and our PC start to boot in successfully after overclocking. Now let's open CPU Z to see what we have. And now you can see that multiplier changed as we said 42 and also memory timings accepted too. So it's working now, our clocking feature is working. Now our frequency is 4.2 GHz. All working fine. And multiplier is 42. Nice, all working. And guys, if this video was useful for you, was interesting for you or helped you, to enable overclocking feature to solve your problem, please press like button, write some comment or even subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. Here in AIDA you can see too that multiplier applies, clock applies and something like that. Thanks for watching.